any historian versed in European history will say that that the construction of the Gothic cathedrals carried on for many centuries. To prove this assertion historians point to the famous Cologne Cathedral. It is assumed that the construction began in the 4th century AD. After that, the cathedral has allegedly been rebuilt many times, and nothing remained from the original cathedrals whatsoever. The construction of the gigantic Gothic cathedral that we admire today is supposed to have commenced in 1248. It is further assumed that the construction was in East for the most part by the 16th century, circa 1560. After that, this gigantic medieval cathedral has allegedly undergone minor renovations, but, by and large, its shape remained unaltered. The Cologne Cathedral is often presented as an example of Gothic construction that went on for several centuries. That is blatantly untrue. According to the Dome of Cologne in Danger, graphic documents on weathering, the part relative to the period 1248 to 1560 represents less than 3% of the masonry of the building. It is known for a notary registered fact that gigantic Cologne Cathedral was built in 1826 to 1836 replacing a couple of smaller churches. Research shows that construction of the Gothic cathedrals did not take centuries but dozens of years only. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece, and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. The establishment of the Egyptian chronology presents substantial difficulties, since a great many documents contain chronological contradictions. Let us examine the correlation between the classical history by Herodotus, and the consensual chronology. In his consecutive and coherent account of Egyptian history, Herodotus calls Cheops the successor of Rhampsinidos. The modern commentator will immediately correct in the following manner, Herodotus creates confusion in chronology of Egypt, Ramsinidos Ramses II was a king of the 19th dynasty, 1345-1200 BC, whereas Cheops belonged to the 4th dynasty, 2600-2480 BC. The discrepancy here equals 1200 years, no less. Just think of what the figure implies and of its sheer value, 1200 years. Let us carry on. According to Herodotus, Asicus was succeeded by Anissus. The leap is one of 1800 years. In general, it turns out that the chronology of kings given by Herodotus does not concur with that found in the fragments of Manetho's list of kings. As a rule, the chronology of Herodotus is much shorter than the consensual version. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.